My name is Petty Officer Cadet Harry Ridsdale and I've been part of Scarborough Sea Cadets now for around four years. Before I get into my cadet life, here's a little bit about me. I've recently left George Pinder Secondary School and have just begun my college education at Scarborough Sixth Form. Um, I'm currently studying history, modern history, which I absolutely adore, um, as well as English literature. I didn't discover the Sea Cadets in a conventional way like many of my friends did. Um, rather than seeing the advertisements, I was actually signed up by my mum. Um, she believed that the values of Sea Cadets will provide me perfectly for the Navy, which is hopefully my dream when I get older. Admittedly, at first, I was a little bit nervous. However, this soon proved to be one of the greatest decisions I could ever make. Um, I joined Cadets at the start of 2017, um, round about the time of my 12th birthday and the time that Scarborough won the Canada Trophy. There are many aspects of Sea Cadets that I enjoy. However, one stands head and shoulders above the rest, that being sailing. Since the start of my time in Cadets, I've always taken a shine to sailing, mainly because of the difficulty of it more than anything else. There have been many aspects of sailing that I've improved on, however there's still loads that I wish to improve on and I think this is one of the reasons why I enjoy it. Um, other things that I love to do in cadets um, are the drill competitions and trips away as both provide like a good sense of team and unity throughout our unit. I find it hard to explain how many things Sea Cadets has given me over the past six years of me being a part of it. From the confidence to stand in front of people to the friends I've made along the way who've supported me from day one, Sea Cadets has given me the skills and relationships that will not only enable me to achieve my future career in the Royal Navy, but just be a better person in general. Perhaps the biggest thing Cadets has given me are the memories, be it sailing back from France on John Gerwood or taking part in the drill competitions. Cadets has given me unbelievable memories that I'll cherish for a lifetime. Like every cadet, I had many courses planned for my future within the Corps. Courses such as the yachts have all been put on hold because of the global pandemic. However, in my future, I still continue to try to gain as many qualifications as I possibly can, all whilst trying to teach as many cadets in the time I have left. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sergeant Rosie Nelson from Mornton Detachment Army Cadet Force. Joining the Army Cadet Force has been the greatest decision I have made and it has opened up so many opportunities to me that I otherwise would not have. I had moved to Moulton before I started secondary school, before my 12th birthday. I was introduced to the Army Cadet Force by a friend. I went down for a parade night and in 2016 I was enrolled into Moulton Detachment. I progressed through the star levels and soon achieved the rank of Lance Corporal alongside my peers. This gave me a command role that I could use among detachments. Since joining in 2016, I have achieved the four-star syllabus and the rank of Cadet Sergeant. I've been able to travel all across the country, including Barry Budden and shooting camps at Strensel. The first aid skills that Cadets has taught me ensured that I was able to recognise when a friend was having a seizure. I was able to use my first aid skills to make sure they were safe and I've often had to use them in the workplace. At the start of the pandemic, I began making face masks to give to friends and family and local key workers. This soon turned into a small business and I was able to make the hundreds and use the proceeds to give to the Royal British Legion and Women's Aid. In February this year, I was recognised in the Cadet Spring Review for being awarded with the Gerrish Certificate for Outstanding Volunteering. The RFCA for Yorkshire and Humber then contacted me to do an interview for my experience during Cadets during lockdown. In May of this year, I was honoured with the Company of Thelmongers Award and I intend to continue my charity support throughout this year. With new possibilities being put in place for cadets over the age of 18, I intend to become a staff cadet whilst I finish college and then I am intending to apply to the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst for the role of a military police officer. The Army Cadet Force has opened up a path for me that I otherwise would not have been able to take and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Hello, my name is Flight Sergeant Adam Lill and I'm from 247 Easy World Squadron. I've been in the Air Cadets for over four and a half years now and I can still remember the reasons that made me join. The first of which was because my grandfather, who served for almost 50 years in the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers in the British Army. This meant that my mum's side of the family was very military and it became almost a second nature to me. In addition to this, because of my huge interest in aviation and anything that flies, the Royal Air Force Air Cadets became a perfect organisation for me to join. Before I joined the Air Cadets, I was a member of the Royal British Legion Band of Thirsk, and we always paraded on Remembrance Sunday. I remember seeing the Thirsk Army Cadet Detachment parading, and ironically, 
This inspired me to finally join the Royal Air Force Air Cadets just a few months later. If I were to list everything I enjoyed within the Royal Air Force Air Cadets, and I will be speaking for many hours, so I'll narrow it down to my four favourites, which begins with drill. I am most definitely the annoying cadet that will pick up on anyone's drill, and I've been drill obsessed ever since I first learned how to stand to attention. I even went on the Cadet Drill Instructors course in 2019, and I can safely say I absolutely enjoyed those two days worth of drill. As I said earlier, I'm obsessed with flying, and I've taken any chance I can get within Royal Air Force Air Cadets to go flying. I've flown the Gob Tutor, which was the Royal Air Force primary training aircraft, seven times, and I'm still like a five-year-old child every time I walk out onto the apron when the aircraft are parked. As much as I love scrubbing up into my dress uniform, I also love getting into my combat suit and field gear and evading the staff and NCOs in a pitch black field doing some field craft. I think every cadet can vouch for me for the fact that camps are one of, if not the best part of cadets. There are camps from field craft, marksmanship, music or even drill. The people that you meet and the skills that you gain will be with you for life. I've made some brilliant friends and been to places and events I never would have experienced if it weren't for the cadets. I've gained qualifications, skills and attributes that five years ago I never would have dreamt of having. I've been shooting, flying, swimming, crawling through fields and I've even given parking direction to my local MP and even the Lord Lieutenant herself. In the future, I wish to gain more experiences within the Air Cadets. In the more distant future, I would love to join the Royal Air Force itself, whether that's as a pilot or as a police officer, I'm not too sure yet. And one day, I would like to return to 2487 Eastern World Squadron as a staff member and give back to the cadets there, which my staff has given to me throughout my cadet career.